hello guys in this video we want to work on the not found component so after this video when you search for something that is not available on the website you will see a message and a reset link like this that brings you back to the home page same will happen for the food page and the cart page watch this lesson if you like to do the same okay here we have what we want to do on this lesson the first step that we want to do is creating the not found component. Let's do it. Right click on the components folder, then create a new folder with the name of not found. Then right click on it and create a new file with the name of not found.js and a not found module.css. Then close the explorer, select the not found JS file and write RFC, press enter for creating the functional component. Then here at the top, write import classes from not found.module.css. Okay, we created our component, but we didn't complete it yet. Now for testing it, I want to add it to the home page. So inside the home page, when we have no foods on the search results, we are going to see the not found. Let's do it. Go to the explorer pages home and click on the home page close the explorer then here after the tags and before the thumbnails put a square brackets check if the foods dot length is equal to zero then show the not found component so if you have no foods it means the data is not loaded good or the search result has no foods then we need to show the not found let's check it out inside the browser let's write something that is not available in the website why 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 yeah press enter as you can see we have the not found here so it works now we can come back to the not found component and make it like a real not found i don't know how a real not found looks like but anyway let's go back inside the not found.js file or the not found component i want to have three properties the first property is the message that we want to show for example not found then we have a link route and a link text when we show this message we need to show a button that goes to this route and shows this text the return part is pretty simple we have a class name with the name of classes that container just like any other components we show the message here as a plain text then we show a link from react router dom that goes to the link route and shows the link text but i want to give them default values because most of the time the link route is the home page route and the link test is go to home page so here at the bottom i write not found the default props i set the message to nothing found link route to the slash that is the home page route and link text to go to home page save it now if you go to the browser we'll see this nothing found and this go to home page when we click on it it will move us to the home page now press back again and refresh the page to see our not found component now i want to work on its css and make it beautiful let's do it Let's go to the not found module CSS. Let's start with the container. Its display should be flex. Its flex direction should be column, top to bottom. Justify content should be centered and align items should be centered too. So it will be centered both vertically and horizontally. Its font size should be 1.5 rem and its font weight should be 100, lightest possible. And its height should be 15 rem now if we go to the browser we'll see it on the middle the text is fine i want to work on this link and make it beautiful let's write container and select the a tag inside it set its font size to 1 rem and its background color to e72929 its color should be white its border radius would be 10 rem complete radius padding would be 0.7 rem from top and bottom and 1 rem from left and right its margin would be 1 rem from every side and its opacity 
be 0.8, 80%. I set the opacity to 80% because I wanted to make it 100% on the hover effect. So right, container A colon hover, set the opacity to one and cursor to pointer. Now let's check out the browser. Here, as you can see, you have this beautiful link that when you hover over it, its opacity will be 100%. Now we have a problem with our previous search code. Here, if you click on the go to home page, we're still going to have our search term. That's because I didn't listen to the search term changes in the URL inside the use effect. I just used it as the default value of the search term. So it will be only called when we refresh the page, but it's not going to work when we go to the search and come back to the home page let's fix this let's go to the code from the explorer and from the components open the search folder and select the search.js component here at the top after the search term write use effect from the react inside it put a handler that listens to the search term changes from the React router use params and here inside this handler just write set term to search term question mark question mark empty string this double question mark is knowledge query single operator so when there is no search term it will set the term to an empty string now we just need to scroll down remove this default value and write value and set it to the term because the term will be set by the search term from the route parameters now, if we go to the browser, we have an empty search box because there is nothing inside the route. Now, if we search for something that is not available on the list and click on go to home page, you will see that it's going to be empty. Okay, let's see where we are. We created the not found component and its CSS file and we just successfully added to the home page and we fixed the search issue. Now we just need to add this component to the foot page and to the cart page. A typo here. Let's do it. Just close all the tabs here. Then from the explorer, scroll down, find the foot page and foot page.js file. Then here on the return part, write an exclamation mark before the foot. So if the food is not available, we are going to show the not found component with the message of food not found and the link text of back to home page. Then remove this double and and replace it with colon. So if the food is not available, we are going to show the not found. And when it's available, we're going to show the details of the food. Now, if we go to the browser, if we click on a food, we'll see its details. You may ask, what was the reason to put a not found for the food page? Sometimes the user just saves the URL of a product, but that product for some reason could be removed from the website. On that case, let's put something that is not available on the website the user will see this page and you can click on the back to home page to come back to the home page and the same situation for the cart page as you can see our cart page is empty now so we should see a cart page empty message let's do it close the foot page open the explorer from the pages open the cart page js file scroll to the return part here now instead of checking if the cart page is not empty let's remove the cart and change this cart items length bigger than zero to equal to zero remove this and two put a question mark now in this case when the cart page doesn't have any items we want to show the not found so write not found press tab to import it now we just need to set its message to cart page is empty then close the not found and after it put a column or the else part of this statement so now if we go to the browser when the cart page is empty we see this cart page is empty message and a button that moves us to the home page now one little thing that i don't like is this home page search and this link text that says go to home page we are already in the home page i like to set it to reset search let's go to the code from the explorer open the home page and here for the not found set the link text to reset search 
then save it. Now, if we go back, we'll see this and if we click on it, it will reset the search and shows all the items. That was about this lesson. On the next lesson, we are going to connect our React project to our Node.js backend. So the data will be loaded from the backend side. So follow this series if you don't want to miss the next video. You've been watching Code with Nasir and I hope to see you next time.